Hi, I'm Rob, and in this Gems of War video, I'm going to show you one team you can use to do this entire labyrinth, all the way up to level 500. Right, let's um, not do this. Let's jump straight to level 500 in the delve. Right, so the labyrinth, level 500. I'll show this team just a couple of times because I'm sure some people know what's coming when you can use red. You almost cannot not use Tesla. And there's a red delve, it's so good, it's absolutely ludicrous. Deals 8 true scatter damage boosted by all ally and enemy armor. So the stronger you are, the bigger the boost, but more importantly, the, the better the enemy, the more powerful the enemy gets. As these levels get harder, the enemy's armor goes up, Tesla just gets more and more powerful, and it basically counters out the fact that the enemies are getting tougher. It's absolutely fantastic. We'll have two of her there, her and her clone. We'll have the Shield of Sky as well, gives an ally magic plus one armor, boosted by all enemy attack, then enrage and barrier them. So again, this boosted by all enemy attack means the more powerful the enemy gets, the more it actually works against them, and the bigger the boost we get. Absolutely superb. On these start levels, we just get Tesla charged up, which happens really quick, because Holy St. Astra gives all human allies a 50% start with mana. We get a 50% start with mana anyway, because we're going to be in Geomancer class for this. A really nice class. 50% start. Reduce damage from scars by 50%. Keeps our armor nice and high to make the most of the boost. Impact is good. Hammer mastery. Anti-magic sphere. Tactician. Rock solid. Gain of barrier when matching round. Tree of knowledge. Gain enchant when matching green, which will do because of Holy St. Astra. And fortitude. Really cool. Banner, bear banner, plus two brown, plus one red, minus one purple. Right, let's just do a couple of battles on this just to show you this on the hardest level that there is. Now you'll see that the boost on Tesla is super high, plus 807. Most of that is to do with the fact that the enemy has really high stats and it just completely works against him. You don't need anything else, just get Tesla charged up. Post of enchantment means that the next Tesla is going to be charged up the next round and the job is done. Ridiculously easy, ridiculously cool. If you need a further boost, you can get it from Holy St. Astra. She gives a boost to armor as well. I'll just do this one more time just to show that. Let's do the legendary room. Super quick and super easy. You can put on medals of guard if you want to increase the armor in your team even more, just for that little bit extra punch. Look, Tesla, look um, here she is, Holy St. Astra. Gives magic plus one life and armor to all allies. Create a life storm, enchant all humans. We're enchanted anyway, but we're going to get an even further boost. Now doing 1,167 damage. Absolutely ludicrous. Get both the Teslas charged up, or at least one round away from getting charged up. If you need an even more of a boost, or your boost is not as high as mine, so you could do with this. Give an ally magic plus one armor, boosted by all enemy attack then enrage and barrier them. You can put it on anybody that hasn't got a shield, because when you cast the Shield of Urskaya, uh, you get a, another barrier as well. So it's basically two barriers for the price of one if you have all the upgrades. And then that makes the boost even more. It's now 1,313. We don't need anything like this, but hey, this is sort of overkill, because it means if your stats aren't as high as mine, there's a lot of space for um, still kill the enemy in just one cast each of, of Tesla. Another team that is really fun and easy to use. This was mentioned yesterday by coincidence in the comments. So I'll show it now quick is Rage Reaver and three times Ferocity. Works really, really well. Rage Reaver is in the Soul Forge at the moment. So if you've got the sufficient diamonds, you can actually craft this. And it deals splash damage to an enemy, then creates four red gems boosted by Tauros allies. We are going to be in a Tauros class and our Ferocities are going to be Tauros. That is going to be the maximum amount of red gems. We're going to be using Ferocity, a Leading Light, a Root Trap, Blood and Glory. That's not a lot of cop here, but the other two options in this were basically Storms of a Colour we don't care about, and we don't want that overriding our red that we like. Vengeance, Bloodthirsty, and Bull General. The banner for this is going to be a plus two blue, plus one a brown banner. And you cast that, and Ferocity then gets charged up super fast, then does a whopping amount of damage to an enemy and a random enemy, boosted by his life, attack and armor, and if the enemy uses red, deals double damage. But the great thing is, give four to all skills on all Tauros allies when matching four or more gems. 
That becomes give 12 to all skills on all Taurus allies when matching four or more gems because we have three of these and those things effectively stack. So super easy to use. Let's just show this a few times. It's going to be ridiculously easy on these early levels. And you can basically boost it up as high as you need. Like we've got it ready already, Eddie. There we go. Like um, <laughs> we got four. I didn't do anything. I just cast it and then just the rest just happened by itself. It was like the bulls were sitting there ready to go mad and they didn't get a chance because the rest was history. Let's, um, let's try it again. <laughs> Hopefully we'll get to do something this time. But these are really low level opponents. But uh, it's a lot of fun to use this team. We've got the potion of enchantment as well, remember? So you're looking for brown or blue straight away. If you can't get that, get red. And then the bulls be released because the next frosty is going to be up the next round anyway so we can just pick on someone who's red on the later levels it's important that you pick someone that's red to make sure that you get that double damage because the second enemy that it hits is going to be a random one so you can actually select the first opponent and make sure you get the most out of that double damage let's just do the last couple of levels and that'll be it for this team There you go, that's ready to go. May as well get that four match because you're getting boosted up. Look, we got 148 damage at the moment and our stats are 205, 323, 338. Get that, that goes up absolutely instantly. 160 damage, 217, 335, 350. And that goes for everyone. Look at our attack, look at our stats. Though You can see it again now. Bang, everything's just got up, huge. Really, really cool. So if you're a newer player, make sure you grab any four matches which are available it really does make a big difference and then you can just pick on the enemy you can do it on your rage reaver if you like really straightforward a lot of fun bulls going mad all right let's just do the last room big gob ah, we're ready to go already Play out a couple of them. Next round, our frost is up anyway. And bingo, bango. Let's boost up the frost seas with Rage River as much as you need to get the job done in an effective manner. Really cool and really simple. Right, for this team, I'm going to be using this fairly new weapon we got here the Wings of Destruction. Explodes magic plus one purple gems, grants a random status effect to all dragon allies, then summon a dragon troop. We're going to be in Dragon Guard for this. We're going to be a Dragon class ourselves. It's not the best class, but it's just okay. Um, the main talents to have are Vanguard, Razor Armor, Commander, and Banishment. They're quite useful. We do get reduced damage from Skulls by 40%, so it's not all bad. But the way this works is Vanoxia is going to create 9 green and 9 blue gems, then deal a whopping amount of true damage to all enemies. As well as that, we get to poison a random enemy on four or five gem matches and gain one magic when an ally casts a spell. The green will feed back into herself, charging her up again, and the blue will feed back into the weapon, getting that charged up again to explode, give status effects, and have a summon should we need it. Really cool. You can have Divinia in fourth place. You can have any troop you like really in fourth place if you don't have Divinia. But she's going to explode all red gems, cleanse all allies and give them a bunch of life, making this a much more a tanky team and giving it a lot more survivability, as well as cause a random a positive status effect on a random ally on four or five gem matches. So let's uh, just show this ever to briefly then. Let's pop in there. I've got a Medal of Arnu on this to give my dragons a, a little bit of a head start. We can grab some stuff for the weapon. Let's grab some blue. As soon as that's charged up, we're good to go. Let's cast that. Binoxy is ready to go. The other one's enchanted, of course. And it won't take long to get going again. You can then cast Divinia to get the team charged up. Cast a weapon to get the team charged up. Really, really cool. Show the team to its true potential and all that jazz. Right, let's um, get some blue. Let's get some more blue. Cast that. 
Might as well give them a punch in the face. Job done, and the second of an Oxy was ready the round after the next one, or you could cast Divinia and get a load of life for your team, making it much more tanky as well as charge the team. And that is it. There's the video. If you enjoyed it, found it useful, helpful, any of that kind of jazz, it'd be really cool if you bash that like and subscribe button. It really does help. But most of all, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you again next time. Bye for now.